Hello everyone on today's video we are gonna talk about, who would win in a fight between Shanks and Blackbeard. Without wasting any more time let's begin. Oh wait don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a like, ok let's begin. What if Blackbeard went to Shanks territory and tried stealing his road poneglyph? While Blackbeard is trying to steal the road poneglyph Shanks arrives and stop him. And the both of them end up in a big fight, who would win? Well we all know we don't know who would win in a fight between Shanks and Blackbeard. But on this video, I'm gonna try and decide who would win in this fight. Before deciding who would win, first I will explain how strong both Shanks and Teach are. First we will look at Teach's arsenal. Blackbeard has great tactical skills as he is known to be an expert planner and can come with a lot of schemes which can be quite calculated and manipulative. This can be seen in his joining the Whitebeard Pirates in order to obtain the yummy yummy devil fruit. Even his strategy to defeat Whitebeard and fighting him when he was at his weakest point so that he could obtain his Gura Gura Devil Fruit too. These are some incidents where we can see his tactical skills in play. He made use of his previous knowledge which helped him conquer a lot of territories. Due to him having immense combat powers and intelligence, Blackbeard can sometimes be overconfident and careless and sometimes this results in him letting his guard down. Blackbeard had immense strength, endurance and durability which can be seen during his fight with Ace, Luffy, Sengoku. He also has a high tolerance for pain even though his devil fruit greatly amplifies the pain he receives. According to his size, Blackbeard has a great amount of physical strength as he was able to stop Whitebeard's attack with just his physical strength. Blackbeard is the first person to have the powers of two devil fruits. The two devil fruits that he possesses are, the Yami Yami no Mi and the Gura Gura no Mi. Blackbeard ate the Yami Yami no Mi devil fruit which allows him to create and control darkness. The darkness appears like a fiery black smoke. If he has any damage he takes it will actually hurt way more worse than the normal pain that would be felt. The darkness has the properties of gravity and it is so strong that it'll destroy anything that comes in its path and devour everything. Blackbeard can also absorb and nullify other people's devil fruit powers as long as he maintains physical contact with the user. Blackbeard obtained the Gura Gura no Mi devil fruit from Whitebeard after killing him. This devil fruit gives him the ability to cause earthquakes and generate shockwaves. His shockwaves can cause serious damage and their raw power can easily stop incoming attacks. Initially he did not have great control over it but later on he gained proper control over it and can use it without effort. Blackbeard can use the Busoshoku Haki, which allows users to use their spiritual energy to create an invisible armor around themselves to give them offensive and defensive capabilities. He uses this Haki to harden his hands and use them as defense. Blackbeard even possessed the Kanbunshoku Haki, which allows the users to, to use the sixth sense to sense the presence, strength and emotions of others. It even gave the user prerogative abilities. Blackbeard is seen using claw weapons and this was the weapon that he used to give Shanks his scars. He also uses a flintlock pistol too. Well we are done explaining Blackbeard and what kind of power he possess. Now let's talk about Shanks' arsenal. Red-haired Shanks is one of the most intriguing characters in the entire story. Introduced to the fans in the very first chapter of the series, Shanks has had somewhat of a limited role in the role since. Although his importance to the plot remains paramount, Eiichiro Oda is yet to show the fans what the man is capable of and what role he'll play in the story going forward. So far, Shanks has made some big appearances in some of the arcs and, being as loved as he is, made a huge impact on the fans. From East Blue, all the way to Marineford before the time skip and then the Wano Country arc following the two-year gap, he's made some key moves that have affected the plot drastically, however, his strength still remains unknown to this date. Fans do know, that he's mainly reliant on his hockey in combat, but how strong is Shanks' hockey really? Despite having lost his dominant arm while saving Luffy, Shanks is still extremely powerful as he managed to rise to the position of Yonko only after the incident. Since Shanks doesn't rely on any devil fruit power, it is only natural to assume that he makes use of high-level hockey in combat, which has been alluded to on several occasions in the story so far. Shanks Haki is, more likely than not, extremely powerful and perhaps even the strongest in the world right now. After all, Shanks has risen to the position of Yonko without any devil fruits. In one of One Piece's recent chapters, Kaido clarified that Haki is essential for the conquest of seas and that Roger brought the whole world to heal with this power. Similar to Roger, Shanks relies solely on his Haki in battle. What's more, Shanks has also lost his dominant arm yet he became a Yonko four years before the beginning of the story, 
once again, implying that his skills are incredibly refined. During his meeting with Whitebeard, Shanks caused physical damage to the Moby Dick while trying to suppress his hockey, which just goes to show that if he let his hockey out, the very ship could have been destroyed. Diamond Jozu, the third division commander of the Whitebeard Pirates, went on to call his hockey, incredible. Shanks then went on to clash his advanced conqueror's hockey with that of Whitebeard's and the two split the skies, showing that they were pretty close in terms of power level at the time. From amongst the Yonko, Kaido and Big Mom are going to go down in the Wano Country arc, leaving behind the two more important ones, Shanks and Blackbeard. While the latter makes use of overpowered devil fruit abilities like the Gura Gura no Mi and the Yummy Yummy no Mi in combat, it would make sense for Shanks to have overpowered Haki to counter that. It's also quite interesting to note that Shanks has a bounty of 4,081,900,000 berries despite becoming a Yonko only six years ago. All this was achieved without being a notorious or ruthless pirate, like Kaido. Without a doubt, this just goes to show that Shanks' ability is what the world government fear and that his power is something truly spectacular. All things considered, Shanks' hockey could be the strongest in the current timeline, and with the Wano Country arc finally wrapping it, it is a given that the story will focus on him soon. Shanks' true hockey strength can be properly gauged as soon as fans get an arc centered around him in the manga. Well I'm done explaining how strong Shanks is. Well at first I thought that Shanks was weak but after seeing Shanks' arsenal, I thought otherwise, I'm not pretty much sure who would win in this fight. Both Teach and Shanks are powerful individuals. At the beginning of the video I said that I will decide. But in this matchup is hard to decide who would really win. Well I'm not sure who would win in this fight. I'll leave it to you guys to decide who would win. Leave your answers in the comment section and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and also stay tuned for more daily anime videos.